And away from that, the Director, Directorate of the Army, Recruitment, Settlement and Reserve, Brigadier General Emmanuel Akpan, has again reiterated the position of the Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tuko Buratei, on the issue of recruitment and training of personnel. Now, according to Akpan, who addressed the media representative on the sideline of his sensitization tour across Federation, the Chief of Army Staff is poised in ensuring that every tribe, state and zones of the country are adequately represented in the Nigerian army for national cohesion. We are in the state as part of the nationwide sensitization and enlightenment campaign tour of the 36 states of the Federation. Uh, Let me also say that this tour is at the instance of the Chief of Army Staff Lieutenant General T.Y. Bratai and sequel to a strategic directive of 2020 where he directed that special forces concept should be integrated in all Nigerian army training. That means that every Nigerian army personnel, those already serving and those we intend to recruit into the army must undergo the special forces training. The essence of the training is to ensure that every personnel can adapt and function seamlessly in any operating environment, be it hybrid, irregular, or asymmetrical, as we call it, or unconventional warfare. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General T.Y. Brata, is also very keen in ensuring that every person from every section of the Nigerian society is represented in the Nigerian Army. And that's why we are in a various state to seek greater government support in the area of enlightenment of the citizenry on the current Nigerian Army approach to training. And also to seek for further support for successful citizens from their states. 